Hi, I'm Bob Gallagher, the mayor of the city of Bettendorf, Iowa. Today is Friday, March 18th, 2022. Welcome to the city of Bettendorf Public Works Department. Today, we're going to talk to our director of community development, Mr. Mark Hunt. We're going to go into Mr. Hunt's neighborhood today to see what he thinks are great ideas about how we can all be more neighborly as spring approaches. So, come on, let's go see Mr. Hunt in his neighborhood. Hello neighbors, I got a busy day ahead of me. Got a bunch of spring cleaning to do in my office. It's become a wreck over the winter. I better get to it. Plus the mayor's gonna stop by. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Such a beautiful day in Bettendorf. Could you be mine? Could you be mine? Come on in. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Such a beautiful day in Bettendorf. Could you be mine? Could you Todd, how are you today? Good, Mark. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, such a beautiful day in Bettendorf. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a beautiful day in Bettendorf. Such a beautiful day in Bettendorf. Could you be mine? Would you be mine? <laughs> well, folks, I think I'll get my office cleaned up. I'll be ready for the mayor. I'm gonna make a few notes, and I'll talk to you soon. Mr. Hunt, how are you today? Good, sir. How are you? Good. What are you doing? A little spring cleaning. Okay. You know, the weather's getting warmer. It's time to clean up, and uh, I thought I'd spend some time today to get my office cleaned up. With spring coming, I had some questions for you that maybe you could help me out with. Do you have some time? Yeah, please. Have a seat, Mayor. Thanks. Glad to help. As the weather turns, I was wondering if you might have some tips for how we can be more neighborly here in Bettendorf this spring. Yeah, here in Community Development, and especially in our Code Enforcement Division, we deal with these neighbor issues a lot. Okay. And when the weather gets warm and the snow starts to melt, you might find your yard needs a little help. Um, the first thing I would advise people to do is, is help each other out. So if you have a neighbor that might need a little yard work and maybe you have a relationship with them, maybe you could help them out get that yard work caught up. Be neighborly. Yes, sir. Offer some help. Okay. Now, we do have a few rules in Bettendorf um, about yards and so forth. One of them is grass can't be longer than 10 inches. Okay. So if we have grass that's higher than 10 inches, you might get a letter from me or my staff asking you to mow it. We want to avoid that if we can, but sure. that is a rule we follow. So help people out. Follow some rules. Any other rules that we should know about that help us be more neighborly? Yeah, a couple things. Building season is approaching. Everybody got lots of projects they want to do to their house, home improvements. Please call us at 563-344-4074 and get a building permit. Okay. You might think you don't need one, and we, if you don't, we'll let you know. But it really protects you. Make sure you're using a licensed contractor and make sure that you're building something that's appropriate and safe for your home. So things like a deck or a pool, even a shed. Yeah, yeah. They all would like to, you'd like folks to give you a call so you could help them out. Yeah, all of those. Okay. Even a small shed that may not, uh, in your mind, require a permit, and it might not, but we might be able to help you locate it in a better spot in the yard so it's not over an easement or some type of utility where it could be a problem. Right. Anything else that we should... Keep in mind as we be yeah. a little more neighborly. Yeah, you. yeah, yard sales. And you know, I love a good yard sale. Okay. Um, but just keep in mind, if you're going to put yard sale signs out, we ask that you stake them on your own private property, not in the city right away. So on your side of the sidewalk, they can be um, obstructions for pedestrians and bicyclists. 
and they can also obstruct the view of drivers, and we sure. don't want to cause a safety issue. What happens if those signs get into that right-of-way area? Yeah, a couple things could happen. Um, you may end up seeing your sign go missing. That means we probably picked it up, and we'll keep it down here at the Public Works Department for you um, if you want to come grab it. And you might get a letter from me asking you to you know, stop doing that. But for the most part, we try to um, just get out there and educate people about the appropriate place to put those signs so we're not um, having to remove them from the right-of-way. Perfect. Anything else our residents need to keep in mind when they're being neighborly? You know, I, I would just say for our drivers out there, this is going to be a busy construction season. But yeah, it is. We've got a lot of good stuff going on. We've got new homes, new businesses coming up. And sometimes you're going to see construction vehicles on the road and some delays for construction. We just ask that you be patient, plan your trips, give yourself a little extra time, and drive safely. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Mr. Hunt. We appreciate you giving us some tips on how to be more neighborly here in the city of Baton Rouge. Hi friends, I sure hope you enjoyed our trip to Mr. Hunt's neighborhood and maybe you learned a little something about how to be a good neighbor today in the Mayor's Message. Until we see you again, have a great weekend.